watching the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. Welcome back to the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. It is time for the start of the Stock Tournament Series 2022 season. Unlike King of the Mountain, these cars have not been modified. Also, we're going back to the 16 car tournament bracket. That means we'll have 16 Ford Mustangs competing in this tournament. There's so many Mustangs, maybe too many. Can you really have too many Mustangs? Yes, you absolutely can. One is too much for me. Now we are taking safety very seriously for this tournament. What is that long line for? We're making sure each and everyone in the crowd signs a waiver. Nah, that makes a lot of sense. We got Mustangs. Well, they do have a reputation. Let's look at the bracket for this tournament. The drivers will be competing in groups of four and we have four groups for round one. Up first for group one, we have Kenny Smallblock. Kenny is driving in a 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Then we have James Hitfield, very fitting name. Hitfield is driving in a 92 Fox Body Mustang. Then we have Jack Ford. Jack Ford is in a red 1967 Mustang. And finally, we have Odin Boomer. Odin is driving in a 2018 Ford Mustang GT. I'm kind of liking that car. See, they're growing on you. I wouldn't say that. Here we go, the drivers will compete in four races. The top two drivers in points will advance on to the next round. My prediction here is that each and every race, one of these Mustangs will wreck. We'll see about that, but I think by the end of this whole thing, you just might become a Mustang fan. <laughs> Please, not gonna happen. We'll see right now, Kenny Smallblock out in the front, followed by Jack Ford, modern Mustang versus a classic. Kenny Smallblock with a nice lead here. He's rounding the final corner, and Kenny Smallblock will take the win on race one, followed by Jack Ford, James Hitfield and Odin Boomer. A little fender bender in the tunnel, but I'm actually surprised to see all the cars make it past the finish line. That was a very clean race. Maybe all the ideas you have about Mustangs and Mustang owners might not totally be accurate. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. That was only one race. I think this tournament can be like an intervention for I'm you. I'm not the one with the problem here. The Mustangs are the problem. Don't worry. We're all here to help you. 3D. This is a safe space. This is not a safe space. We're way too close to the track. Here we go with race two. James Hitfield on the front right. Odin Boomer on the front left. Let's hope no one gets hit by Hitfield. Odin Boomer with a slight lead on the first straight. It's a close pack into turn one. Hitfield trying to pull ahead. Now he's side by side with Odin Boomer. Watch out. Boomer gets pushed off the track. <laughs> Jack Ford is upside down. And there we go. A Mustang is upside down on its roof. James Hitfield on the edge. He recovers. And Hitfield takes the win on race one, followed by Kenny Smallblock. This is exactly what I expected to see. Only two races in and someone is already upside down. Looking at the replay, James Hitfield putting some pressure on Odin Boomer. Boomer up on the side wall gets hit from behind by Jack Ford. That sends Jack Ford up the bank before he comes crashing down. This right here was just classic Mustang racing. Now let's be fair, we've had plenty of other vehicles from different manufacturers crash and wreck on these turns. These guys are just getting started. This was the first of many. You just wait and see. It's almost like you want them to fail. I just have realistic expectations. Did a Mustang do something to you in the no. past? If you want to talk to someone about it. I don't need it. to talk to anybody about anything. I'm just saying, I think we've all had our hearts broken by a Mustang at oh some point goodness. in life. You're not alone. Well, Jack Ford is alone on the track. Let's focus on him. The other three drivers trailing behind. Jack Ford approaching the final turn. Whoa, he hits the side oh, wall. No. He's bouncing all over the place. Behind the women and children, we've got a wild Mustang on the track. Jack Ford barely able to tame that pony to bring it past the finish line. This is going to be a dangerous tournament. That will push Jack Ford up on the scoreboard. He is now in second place behind Kenny Smallblock. Jack Ford is one point over James Hitfield with one race left. And that's another double DNF. We should have a counter on the screen for all the DNFs and all the wrecks. That actually might not be a bad idea. I'm going to guess that by the end of the tournament, both stats will be in the double digits. We already have four DNFs. Maybe even triple digits. Well, with the way Jack Ford is driving. He is a disaster waiting to happen. Or a disaster that's happening right in front of us. That right there sums up the Ford Mustang. This is just the first group. We still have 12 more. There's going to be a couple bad drivers in the mix. Well, so far, I'm not impressed. Here we go. Final race of group one. Kenny Smallblock has 11. Jack Ford has eight. James Hitfield has seven, and Odin Boomer has one. Jack Ford looking to secure his spot in the next round. That pony's gone wild. Ford all over the place, he wrecks. Kenny Smallblock almost off the road. And Kenny Smallblock takes the win on the last race, followed by James Hitfield. That means Hitfield will be advancing on with Kenny Smallblock to round two. Oh man, Jack Ford blew it. That was certainly Jack Ford's race to lose. He had a nice, solid lead there. Then right here, he hits the side wall, starts swerving back and forth. Kenny Smallblock catches up to him right here, passes on the inside that forces Jack Ford to go high on the turn. And we all know when Mustangs go high, they go low. That was an impressive race, however, for Kenny Smallblock. Let's see those stats. That is now two wrecks and five DNFs. That's not too bad. For Mustangs, it's actually pretty good. And there's your first two advancing on to the next round, Kenny Smallblock and James Hitfield. 
Don't go anywhere. We've got more racing coming up after the break. It was a very brief period of time. I was still trying to discover myself. Welcome back. This just in, Tootie just revealed to us that he actually owned an 89 Mustang. Owned is kind of a strong word. The plot here is getting deeper. There's nothing to talk about. I had it for a little bit. It's gone. End of story. You can't own a Mustang and not have it impact you in some and way. And here's our next group of drivers. We have Slick Murphy. Slick Murphy is driving in a 1965 Mustang Fastback. Then we have a man with two first names. You can't trust those guys. It's Greg Todd. Greg Todd is driving in a beautiful classic 1965 Mustang. Then we have a guy who seems a little overconfident that he's going to win. It's Doug Winning. Doug Winning driving in a yellow Ford Shelby GT 350R. And last up is Stephanie King. Is there a relation there to the legendary driver Stephen King? I'm not quite sure, but Stephanie King is driving in a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Slick Murphy and Greg Todd starting off in the front row. But seriously, we need to know more about this Mustang that you I own. don't want to talk about. At least tell us the color or something. It was nothing special, just a scarlet red hatchback, 5 liter V8. Had a buddy of mine tune it up, turn that key in the ignition, and she would purr like a kitten on a summer day. This sounds more like a love affair than a quick fling. Sally was nothing special to me. So you named it. Look at that, we got a pile up. That sounds serious. Slick Murphy still rolling, and look at that. Oh, One race no. in, and a Mustang has wrecked. Slick Murphy manages to make it past the finish line along with Doug winning. It's amazing what a winning attitude can do for you on the track. Greg Todd breaks down on the exit of that turn. Also, for those keeping count, that is two more DNFs and another wreck. Let's try to dissect what happened there on that final turn. Slick Murphy blocking Doug winning. That slowed down Greg Todd, but I am not sure what happened to Stephanie King. Based on her driving, I'm going to have to assume that she has no relation to Stephen King. We're only one race in. There's still time for her to improve. Stephanie King starting off this race on the front left. Greg Todd on the front right. Classic cars on the right. Modern muscle on the left. Here they go down the first straight. Greg Todd with a slight lead going into turn one. Stephanie King not far behind. It's a close race going into two. Some contact there. Slick Murphy moves into second. Greg Todd goes for the block. Slick Murphy on the inside. Oh. Greg Todd wrecks. Down goes another Mustang. And Slick Murphy will take his second win in a row. It looks like he will be the only one to pass the finish line on this race. That means this is our first triple DNF of the tournament. And another driver flipped upside down. Stephanie King gets stuck back there with Doug winning. He's not going to win like that. Here's that exchange on turn two. Greg Todd cutting off Stephanie King. She almost comes off the track before she gets tangled up with Doug winning. And here's that slick pass by Slick Murphy. I like this Slick Murphy guy. He started in the back row, made the pass up to second on turn two. Then he pushes Greg Todd out of the way to slide on through that final turn. And his car doesn't look that bad either for Mustang. I feel like this tournament is going to be a tournament of healing. Dude, for what kind of vibe are you on? Man? I'm just trying We're to... We're racing here. This is not some kind of intervention self-help thing. I just feel like is you Is this need... the Dr. 3D show now? Okay, okay. Come on, this is a race. Your Mustang Sally broke your heart, didn't and she? And here we go with race three. Doug winning out in front on the first straight. Stephanie King falling behind. Slick Murphy right on the tail of Doug winning. Here they are in the open section of track. Doug winning through turn two. Some oversteering there. Doug with a solid lead. Doug flies through the final turn, followed by Slick Murphy. Oh, Stephanie King going backwards. Another wreck. Greg Todd upside down again. Watch out here. A close call. Stephanie King was not looking where she was going. We have had a car wreck on every single race with this group, which is to be expected. What I am surprised about is no one has hit any spectators yet. Hopefully that does not happen, but we do have the waivers in place in case it does. Oh, it's going to happen. Greg Todd went to block. Stephanie King ends up wrecking his car. What a shame, too. That's a beautiful classic Mustang. It looks okay. Here we go. Final race. Slick Murphy has 13 points. Doug Winning has eight. Stephanie King has two. And Greg Todd has never seen the finish line. Nor will he ever. This race is over and done. Slick Murphy and Doug Winning will be moving on to the next round. Doug Winning out in front trying to get another win. Slick Murphy hits him on his backside trying to pass. Let's see if Greg Todd wrecks again. Greg Todd is still in it. He gets slowed down with Stephanie King. Doug Winning will take his second win. Followed by Slick Murphy. Ooh. I think Slick Murphy might have some beef with Doug. Shots fired by Slick Murphy as Doug Winning's car gets flipped over. And look at that. It's Greg Todd's fourth DNF. But at least this time he's on his tires. Hey, you know, it's an improvement. Baby steps, Greg Todd. Baby steps. Slick Murphy ends the race with 16 points. Doug winning with 13. 
Greg Todd, our first driver of the season to not see the finish line at all. Well, the way he was driving, it's probably best for the safety of the crowd. You've got a good point there. And there are your first four drivers advancing on to round two. Kenny Smallblock, James Hitfield, Slick Murphy, and Doug winning. It's time for groups three and four of round one. Look at all those Mustangs. You can just feel the essence of midlife crisis in the air. Not everybody who drives a Mustang is having a midlife crisis. Most of them are. I don't think that's true. Now look, I know I've been hard on these Mustangs 3D, but I gotta say there are some good looking cars in this mix. Two races in and you're already coming around. Okay, don't get crazy. I'm just saying a few of them look pretty good. Hashtag 2D for Team Mustang. No, 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 don't start with all that. Here's a look at the tournament bracket. Four drivers have already advanced on to round two. Kenny Smallblock, James Hitfield, Slick Murphy, and Doug winning. Let's see our first group of drivers racing today. First up, we have Pony Boy Michael Curtis. Pony Boy is driving in a 1965 Mustang Fastback. Up next is Brett Maverick. Brett Maverick is in a 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Ooh, Super Snake. Sounds fancy. Then we have Crash McCrowd. Come on, really? He's driving in a 1968 Mustang. I mean, he's telling you what he's going to do in his name. It's just a name. And last up, we have Steve McQuick. Steve McQuick is driving a 2018 Ford Mustang GT. The drivers will compete in four races. The top two in points will advance on to the second round. If I had to pick one, it would be Steve McQuick. Oh, I thought you'd be cheering for Crash McCrowd. No way, he should not even be allowed to race with a name like that. Crash McCrowd having trouble coming out of the gate. Pony Boy and Brett Maverick side by side. Brett Maverick pulls in front of Pony Boy. Steve McQuick close behind in third. He's going for second now. Pony Boy, Michael Curtis, and Steve McQuick side by side. Steve McQuick falls back to third, and that race will go to Brett Maverick, followed by Pony Boy, Michael Curtis. Everybody back up. Back up, here comes Crash McCrowd. Crash McCrowd with a slow fourth place finish. Did you see the way he was eyeing the crowd? That's creepy, man. That is very suspicious. He was just smiling at the crowd. That's what the drivers do. We already know Mustangs and crowds do not mix. Now we got a driver named Crash McCrowd. It's an unconventional name, but I don't see the concern. So you're okay with that. Look how slow he is. What's the big deal? I find your lack of concern disturbing. Here we go with race two, Brett Maverick and Steve McQuick in the front row. And they're off. Brett Maverick once again in the lead in the blue Mustang. Steve McQuick in second. Here comes Pony Boy Michael Curtis. Michael Curtis and Steve McQuick fighting for second. Pony Boy with a block. Crash McCrowd trains to Peyton. Whoa, there goes Steve See? McQuick. I told him, watch out for Crash McCrowd. He's a dangerous man. Brett Maverick takes his second win. He's followed by Pony Boy Michael Curtis. And here comes Crash McCrowd for third. Who should not be on the track. Look at that. An unnecessary hit by Crash McCrowd. And he's looking over here again. I'm telling you, he is looking at the crowd. Steve McQuick flipped upside down on turn two. That will be wreck number six for this tournament. And 14 DNFs. I am not surprised about that at all. Here's the replay of what happened on two. Look at Crash McCrowd in the green car pushing Steve McQuick off the track. That was a dirty move. Well, it's better that he's hitting cars than people, right? So far, it's only a matter of time, 3D. Steve McQuick starting race three on the front right, Crash McCrowd on the front left. Here they go down the first straight. It's a close race between Steve McQuick and Crash McCrowd. They're through turn one, Crash McCrowd with a slight lead. Pony Boy on his tail. Steve McQuick fighting to stay in second. Crash McCrowd now stretching out that lead as he goes down McClyde straight. Oh boy, watch out. I'm Crash back. McCrowd is over. Watch out, everybody. Steve McQuick passes, followed by Pony Boy and Brett Maverick. Some great reflexes there by those three drivers. Avoiding Crash McCrowd's car flipped upside down. You can come back over here now, 2D. It's safe. Safe. You call that safe? Look at how close Crash McCrowd is to the crowd. And those people there in line haven't even signed the waiver yet. Actually, they all had to sign a waiver just to get in that line to sign the waiver for the race. Wait, hold up. They, they signed a waiver to get into the waiver line. Yes, we are completely covered. Don't worry about it. Okay, but why didn't they just... Hold on, we got to look at this replay. Once again, great reflexes by all three drivers avoiding that wrecked car. That was very impressive for Mustang drivers. Here we go at the fourth and final race. Brett Maverick in the lead in points with 12. Pony Boy Curtis has nine. Steve McQuick has seven. And Crash McCrowd has three. Crash McCrowd and Pony Boy Curtis in the front row. Crash McCrowd has no chance of moving on. Thank goodness for that. If Pony Boy wins this, he'll be advancing on... Brett Maverick passes up Crash McCrowd. Steve McQuick in fourth. Pony Boy Michael Curtis looking good around the final turn. And he's got this one in the bag. He'll be advancing to the next round along with Brett Maverick. More importantly, we can say a big goodbye to Crash McCrowd, who has crashed once again. Wow, look at that. We're up to eight wrecks, 
17 DNFs. We'll have to go to the replay to see what happened to Crash McCrowd on the final turn. There goes Ponyboy. Here comes Brett Maverick. And he wiped himself out. Steve McQuick getting stuck behind Crash McCrowd. Here's the updated tournament bracket. The right side is complete with Slick Murphy, Doug winning, Brett Maverick, and Ponyboy Michael Curtis. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, our last four drivers for round one will take the track. Billboard is kind of extreme. I'm just trying to help. What part of I don't need help made you think, oh, I know, I'll make a billboard. Come on, are you telling me you don't want to see her again? Look, me and Sally shared some great moments together, but that's in the past now. After her, I bought a Pontiac, and I moved on. Welcome back. It's time for our final group of Mustangs for round one. First up, we have Daryl Shelby. Daryl Shelby is driving in a 2007 Shelby GT500. Then we have Sally Fox. Sally Fox is in a 1992 Fox Body Ford Mustang. That's a nice car. Okay, 2Ds for Team Fox Body. Next up is Mad Miles. Mad Miles in the black 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And last up, it's Brent Firebrick. Brent Firebrick in the 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1. There's only two spots left for round two. Who's gonna take those final two spots? The drivers are at the start, and they're off. Daryl Shelby with the lead going into turn one. Mad Miles right behind him in the black car. Come on, Sally Fox. Let's see how they handle turn two. Corners are Mustang's kryptonite. Well, it's no problem for Daryl Shelby. He's looking great out there. A little hiccup coming out of turn three. And here they come, single file past the finish line. All four drivers finishing without any wrecks. Well, that's a rare occurrence. It's like seeing an eclipse. And like an eclipse, you never look directly at a Mustang. I've never heard that before. You should always look at a Mustang in your rear view mirror. It's very easy to do. Okay, are you just going to keep beating a dead horse? Oh, that was a good one. What? Beating a dead horse, Mustangs. I did not mean it like that. There was no pun intended. No, that was good. Own no, it. no, no. Here we go with race two. Sally Fox on the front right in the yellow car. Brent Firebrick on her left in the red. Let's see if we can have another clean DNF and wreck free race. Good luck with that. Sally Fox in the lead down the first straight, followed by Daryl Shelby. Brent Firebrick back in third with Mad Miles. Come on, Sally. Here they go through turn two. Sally Fox still in the lead. Daryl Shelby creeping up on her. There's some contact. Sally Fox riding the wall. Hold on to it. Here comes Daryl Shelby to steal the win right at the end. Oh, man. Sally Fox was so close. That is Daryl Shelby's second win in a row. You can see right here he has his eye on the inside lane, goes for the pass. Sally Fox with the block almost pushes him off the road. She ends up riding the side wall that slows her down. That gives Daryl Shelby time to catch up and take the win right at the last second. I gotta give it to him, that was a great race. And once again, all four drivers making it down to the finish line. Another rare occurrence. I don't know, I think we could have a completely clean race. Four in a row. With four Mustangs, no way. Let's see, here we go with race three. Brent Firebrick in the red car, Mad Miles in the black. This is Mad Miles' first time in the front row, he's taking off. Daryl Shelby right on his bumper. They're in the open track, Mad Miles with a nice lead. Through turn two, and ah. down goes Brent Firebrick. I told you. Mad Miles stuck sideways. Ooh, a oh, a hard hit by Sally Fox. Sally Fox for the win. And that race comes to a sudden end. Let's tally up those DNFs. 21. Wow. Uh. And 10 wrecks. 10 wrecks. Well, you were right. It's in the double digits, and we're only in round one. I know my Mustangs, 3D. I know my Mustangs. Care to tell us more about your Mustang? Look at this replay right here. Wait for Sally Fox, the star of this show. This right here was the cherry on top. She just plows into the back end of Daryl Shelby. That was totally unnecessary, totally avoidable. Use your brakes. But above all that, it was totally Mustang. You enjoyed this race way more than you should have. That was nothing but pure entertainment. Since no one passed the finish line, we will be restarting that race. But we're still counting the DNFs on the chart. Yeah, well, that's kind of your unofficial statistics. It's very thing. official. And they're off with a restart of race three. Let's see if they can make it down this time without any incident. Highly unlikely. Mad Miles back out in the lead, followed by Daryl Shelby. Mad Miles is looking fast out there. Brent Firebrick is sideways. Oh, Brent Firebrick oh, yes. is over. Sally Fox is the greatest. Mad Miles approaching the finish. And that race will go to Mad Miles, followed by Daryl Shelby. Looking at the scoreboard, I don't think Sally Fox is going to make it. But we totally need her in the Demolition Derby. She is a natural. With driving like this, she would fit right in. I don't know what Brent Firebrick was doing. That car is way too long to get sideways. But the way Sally Fox just pushed him out of the way, 
It was beautiful. Well, with that double DNF, it appears Daryl Shelby and Mad Miles will be the two drivers advancing on to round two. Sally Fox is four points behind Mad Miles. Mad Miles and Daryl Shelby in the front row on this race. This should be a good race. Who is faster between those two? Right now, they are neck and neck around turn one. Miles with a slight lead, but here comes Daryl Shelby. It's close. Shelby taking the lead around turn two. Mad Miles not far behind in his rear view. Here they go through the last corner. Everybody He's watch out. The Mustangs are on the loose. But he gains control, and Daryl Shelby will take the win on the final race. He's joined by Mad Miles in second place. And hey, look at that, another race with all four drivers making it down here to the finish line. Not such a rare occurrence, is it? Yeah, but they still had two or three wrecks. Some great driving there by Daryl Shelby. He looks to be a top contender in the upcoming semifinals. He is fast and he has that pony under control, except for right here. And here's the bracket going into the semifinal round. We've got Kenny Smallblock, James Hitfield, Daryl Shelby and Mad Miles, Slick Murphy, Doug Winning, Brett Maverick, and Pony Boy Michael Curtis. Here we are for the semifinal round in the 2022 Mustang Tournament. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see some more crashes. Now, before today's race, Tootie and I made a little wager. He said there's no way we'll get through an entire race without a Mustang upside down on its roof. I said this is a semifinal round. They can do it. So if I'm right, we get to have a Pontiac Tournament with multiple Fieros. And if we can get through an entire race without any cars upside down, 2D will drive a custom Mustang in King of the Mountain. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Good thing there's no chance that's gonna happen. Hey, this is the second round. These are the top eight drivers. Let's look at group one. We have Kenny Smallblock. He's driving a 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Up next, we have Daryl Shelby in the blue 2007 Shelby GT500. Driving in the blue, 1992 Fox Body Ford Mustang is James Hitfield. Watch out for that guy. And last up is Mad Miles in the black 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Here we go, Kenny Smallblock and Daryl Shelby in the front row. The drivers will compete in four races, the top two events on to the final round. Here they go. It's a close race down the first straight. They're into turn one. Daryl Shelby in the lead. Here comes Kenny Smallblock on the right side. Neck and neck into turn two. Daryl Shelby now pointing ahead. Kenny Smallblock spins out. Daryl Shelby into the last corner. All four drivers still on their wheels. Not for long. And here comes everyone past the finish line. That is one race down, three to go. No incidents on the track at all. I am not worried in the least, 3D. If there's one thing you count on Mustangs to do, it's their ability to crash on turns. I don't know. We're dealing with some good drivers here now. It doesn't really matter who's driving. It's the car. Well, we'll see soon enough. Daryl Shelby takes the win on that race. Kenny Smallbach comes in second. James Hitfield third. Mad Miles in fourth. Daryl Shelby starting on your front right. Mad Miles on the front left. Here they go down the track for race two. Daryl Shelby with a slight lead into turn one. Mad Miles right on his side. Shelby followed closely behind by Kenny Smallblock. Here we go, I told you. We got some paint swapping on turn two. Everyone makes it out in one piece. Oh, come on. Daryl Shelby still in lead. And here he comes past the finish line, followed by Kenny Smallblock, Mad Miles, and James Hitfield. All four drivers once again making it past the finish line. That's okay, they're just warming up. You saw what happened on turn two. They're just getting ready for a spectacular crash. So what color would you like your custom car to no, be for King of the Mountain? That's not gonna happen. We can paint it red like Sally. First of all, Sally was a medium scarlet red, two-tone with silver on the bottom. Not that that's important at all, because there's no way these guys won't wreck on this next race. I can see a little worry on your face. <laughs> Me? I'm not worried at all. The recipe for disaster starts with four Mustangs. Here we go with race three, Mad Miles on the front right in the black car. James Hitfield on the left, Mad Miles pulling ahead. Daryl Shelby close behind. Come on, let's see some wheels up in the air. Here they come, single file through turn two. Mad Miles still maintaining that lead. We got contact. Daryl Shelby gets loose. Mad Miles approaches the finish line, takes the win. Oh, come and on. And once again, here comes all four drivers. You can't be serious. Passing the finish line without any crashes. Did someone swap the cars out or Not something? Not even a DNF. Hey, it ain't over until it's over. There's still one race left. You're getting a little worried, aren't you? Uh, I'm just, uh... You can feel it. I'm not really ready to drive in a Mustang again just yet. It's okay, you'll have some time to get used to it. I'm still holding out, we still got one race left. I still believe in the Mustang's ability 
to wreck. These are words of desperation. We got James Hitfield in the front row. He can do it. And they are off for the fourth and final race. Look, two clean races, that can happen. Three in a row, they got lucky. Four in a row would be a Mustang miracle. I do not believe in Mustang miracles. Well, I gotta say, looking at this, I believe. Oh, there goes Mad Miles. Mad Miles off the road, but he's still on his wheels. Here comes Kenny Smallblock. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. He's upside down. So he's upside down. He's upside down. Daryl Shelby. Yes. Flipped over on his roof on the last stretch of track. I never doubted for a moment. You kind of did. That we would not see a Mustang upside down. There you go right there. One of them almost hit that spectator. That is classic, classic Mustang behavior. Oh, man, they fell apart right at the end. Right here, Mad Miles took a drive off the track down the dirt road. He saw that spectator sitting over there and could not help himself. Now, that wouldn't have counted towards our bet, but Daryl Shelby, what happened to him? No surprises here. This was just nature having its way, bringing about an inevitable outcome in a Mustang tournament race. They really do have trouble on the turns. I've been telling you. Daryl Shelby and Kenny Smallblock will be advancing on to the final round. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, Slick Murphy, Doug Winning, Brett Maverick, and Pony Boy Michael Curtis. Stay tuned for more Mustang crashing action. Every year, an unspecified number of spectators are struck down by Mustangs. Don't be a victim. Always stay six cars away from any Mustang you see on the road. And remember, friends don't let friends drive Mustangs. This ad was paid for by 2D and does not reflect the opinions or beliefs of the 3D Bot Maker channel. Was that really necessary? I feel like people need a proper warning. It just seems a little over the top. Well, it is over the top. They're Mustangs. Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League's 2022 Mustang Tournament Semifinals. Let's look at our second group of drivers. We've got Slick Murphy in the 1965 Mustang Fastback. Then driving in the yellow Ford Shelby GT350R is Doug Winning. Brett Maverick is driving in the blue 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. And last up is Pony Boy Michael Curtis in the red 65 Mustang Fastback. Are you ready for this, 2D? Our bet still goes for this race. Oh yeah, if the last race taught us anything, these guys have to wreck at least once, if not multiple times. After the last race, I'm beginning to agree with you. There you go, come to the dark side, 3D. We've got cookies. Oreos? Oh no, famous Amos. Oh, you got the good stuff. Of course, we're the dark side. Brett Maverick and Slick Murphy in the front row. Brett Maverick in the blue car pulling ahead. Some contact around turn two. Now Brett Maverick stretching that lead. Here he comes around the final corner. Oh ah. no, again! <laughs> Oh, oh, look, he went off the road. It's total pandemonium. Mustang mayhem, baby. Brett Maverick finishes upside down. Slick Murphy fell off the track. He may not have hit a spectator, but he hit spectator cars. I think that should still count in the scorecard. A wild first race. I don't even know who won that one. Here's the replay. Brett Maverick coming around that last corner. They are having so much trouble on that last turn. A classic Mustang tuck and roll maneuver. Here comes Slick Murphy. Hits the back end of Brett Maverick, then falls off the track. And then look at this finish. I am not sure who got it. I think it might have been Doug winning. Let's see that again from the finish cam. We can replay this over and over all day long. There goes Slick Murphy off the track. And I don't know. It's a close one. We're going to have to go to our overhead cam for this one. Here they come. Brett Maverick upside down. Ooh. And Brett Maverick takes the win on his roof. A roof slide across the finish line for the win. I like it. Brett Maverick totally looking out there to flip upside down and still take first place. He's got to feel good about that one. Here we go with race two. Brett Maverick on the front right. Pony Boy Curtis on the front left. And they're off. I feel like that was the first of many crashes for this race. Well, you've won the bet for this round. Should we extend it to the final? Sure, if you want to. There's no way I'm going to lose. Brett Maverick in the lead. Pony Boy on his tail. Doug winning in third, Slick Murphy back in fourth. All four drivers with a lot of separation. That's what we call social distancing. You should not drive within six cars of a Mustang. It's for your own safety. A little fender bender in the tunnel, but everyone makes it past the finish line. That will be Brett Maverick's second win in a row. He now has 10 points. Doug winning and Pony Boy Curtis with five. An impressive time there for Brett Maverick. He has the fastest time of the season, 17.354 seconds. There's the top five track times so far for 2022. Those track times actually aren't too bad. They're faster than some of the heavier modified cars we get in King of the Mountain. Here we go with race two. Pony Boy Curtis on the front right in the red fastback. 
Doug winning on the front left in the yellow Mustang GT350R. Here they go. Pony Boy Curtis with the early lead. Doug winning staying right with him. It's a close race into the open track. Doug winning overtakes Pony Boy Curtis. Nice pass there. Here they come through McClyde straight to the final corner. This is where the action's been happening. Doug makes it out fine. Here comes Pony Boy Curtis. Whoa. And he takes the lead back from Doug winning. Nice pass. Right before the finish. You know, I gotta say, that was actually a really good race. Some great back and forth action between Pony Boy Curtis and Doug winning. Right here, Doug winning in the yellow car overtakes Pony Boy Curtis. Cuts right in front of him and blocks him on turn two. It looked like Doug winning had this race. But look at Ponyboy Curtis chasing him down, stays on the outside and cuts off Doug winning, returning the favor and adding five points to his score. That is going to move Ponyboy Curtis up to second place now. He has 10. Brett Maverick is in the lead with 12. Doug winning with eight. This is the final race. The top two drivers advance on to the final round. Doug winning in the lead. Slick Murphy on his outside in the silver car. Doug winning needs this win right here. Pony Boy Curtis in second place. Looking for another opportunity to pass Doug winning. Doug gaining some distance from the rest of the drivers. Final corner. Doug winning with a big lead here. Doug winning takes the win. Followed by Pony Boy Curtis. Slick Murphy. I'm not quite sure who the top two are. Oh, it's a three-way tie! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! For the first time no way. in 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League history. That is awesome. We have a three-way tie for first. Only two can advance on to the next round, so we're going to have a tiebreaker race. Just one race. The lineup will first be based on number of wins, so Brett Maverick will be in the pole position. He had two wins. Doug winning and Ponyboy Curtis were tied with one win each, so we're going to go to their track times. Pony Boy Curtis had the faster time, so he will start in the second place spot. Doug winning will start behind Brett Maverick. I can't believe we have a three-way tie. Here we go. They're at the start. First and second place will advance on to the finals, and they're off. Brett Maverick leading them down the first straight. It's a tight race for second. Pony Boy Curtis falling behind. Come on, stay golden, Pony Boy. Here they go through two. This is intense. Brett Maverick looking good. If he can stay on all four tires, he's got this. Final turn. Doug winning gets loose. Watch out. And it's going to be Brett Maverick and Doug winning, advancing on to the final round of the 2022 Mustang Tournament. Okay, that was quite a race. And we only had one crash in the beginning. An epic catastrophe of a crash, but yeah, it was one. Here's a look at the final four going into the finals. Daryl Shelby, Kenny Smallblock, Brett Maverick, and Doug winning. All modern Mustangs, no classics. Yeah, that's three GT500s and one GT350R. I think we're in for one exciting race in the finals. You know what they say, the bigger the horsepower, the harder they crash. Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League's 2022 Mustang Tournament Finals. We've had 16 Mustangs take the track in this tournament for better or for worse. Mostly for worse. 2D. And now we are down to the final four. The four last Mustangs standing are all Shelby GTs. We've got three GT500s and one Shelby GT350R. I'm a little disappointed that there's no Fox bodies in the finals. Also, our wager still stands. If we can get through this finals without any crashes, 2D will drive in King of the Mountain in a custom Mustang. Not gonna happen. Here's our drivers. We have Daryl Shelby in a 2007 GT500, Kenny Smallblock in the 2010 Super Snake, Brett Maverick in the blue 2010 GT500 Super Snake, and Doug winning in the yellow Shelby GT350R. These are some fine cars, but it's only a matter of time before one of them or all of them crashes. And they're off for the first race of eight in the Mustang Tournament Finals. Daryl Shelby leading them into the first corner. Keep your eye on Brett Maverick. He's in the blue car with the Hot Wheels logo. So far, he has the fastest time in this tournament. Daryl Shelby maintaining that lead, but it's a close race. Here comes Brett Maverick. Shelby gets loose. And here comes Kenny oh. Smallblock to take the win at the last second. Now that's how you start off a finals. An exciting race there. It was close all the way to the finish line. Kenny Smallblock pulls off the pass. Right here, Daryl Shelby gets loose. Look at Kenny Smallblock in the red car. Pulls to the right, finds the open door, and walks on through for the win with a 17.9 second track time. I'll admit it, these guys are making Mustangs look good, but we all know it's only a matter of time before one of them is upside down on their roof. I think they're gonna prove you wrong today. These guys are good, and they're driving in some of the finest cars Ford has ever made. Only a matter of time. Doug winning and Brett Maverick in the front. Brett Maverick with the lead. Here comes Doug winning. He slides around turn two. Brett Maverick now falling back to third as Kenny Smallblock moves into second. Kenny slides out, and race two will go to Doug winning. 
Brent Maverick manages to take back that second place spot over Kenny Smallblock. Another tight race. These guys seem to be evenly matched when it comes to horsepower and driver skills. Kenny Smallblock was in second place, but coming out of the last corner, he gets completely sideways, almost goes in reverse. That causes him to go from second place all the way back to fourth. Kenny Smallblock and Doug Winning are both tied with six points. Daryl Shelby and Brent Maverick have five. Doug Winning and Kenny Smallblock will be in the front row on this race. And they're off for race three. Doug Winning in the lead into turn one. Kenny Smallblock behind him in second. Doug Winning is looking fast out there. He has a big lead now going into turn two. Kenny Smallblock not far behind. Hopefully he doesn't crash. Come on, don't jinx him to the... I'm just saying. There's no crash on the final turn. Doug Winning takes the win. Followed by Kenny Smallblock, Daryl Shelby, and Brett Maverick. Another race. No Rex. No DNFs. I'm not even sweating it this time. Last time we had three clean races in a row. Fourth race, they all fell apart. Nature has a way of correcting itself. So after a few clean races, the Mustangs have to crash. Well, we're going to put your theory to the test right now. Plus, the deal was they have to make it all the way through the finals without anyone upside down. There's still five races to go. I will admit the odds are in your favor here. They most certainly are. But these are the best of the best. They're doing well so far. I'll give them that. This time, Kenny Smallblock in the lead, followed by Daryl Shelby. Doug winning in third. Here they go around turn two. Some contact. That was almost a wreck. Kenny Smallblock way out in front now. They're flying around the final corner. Kenny gets loose again, but he holds on to it to take the win. There was a hit there after the finish line. And that, my friend, is four races in a row. Yeah. No crashes, uh, no wrecks, no DNFs. But they still got four races to go. Just look at the way these guys are driving. These guys are good. If there's any Mustang drivers that can pull off eight races in a row, no wrecks, it's these guys right here. Look at that. Doug winning was so close to falling off the track. Doug winning riding the wall with a nice recovery. Don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we have a very special surprise for 2D. For me? Yeah, you. What did you do? Don't worry about it. You're going to like it. 3D? You'll love it. Come on, you know I don't like surprises. You'll like this one. Welcome back, it's time for our halftime show. We have a halftime show? Yes, and this one is all about you, 2D, because this is your life. Oh no, what's going on here? Just sit back and relax. 3D, what is this? It's your life. It's This Is Your Life, featuring the life of Devon Davis. Really, my full name? Well, it's your life. You know how I am about privacy. With your host, 3D Botmaker. So they didn't use your real name, but mine. It's not my life, it's your life. Unfrickin' believable. Welcome everyone, I'm the host, 3D Botmaker, Today we'll be looking at the life Don't you of dare use my full name. 2D. Our first special guest will take us all the way back to the beginning of 2D's passion for cars. Oh boy, what's this going to be? Just listen and see if you recognize this voice. Hey, little D. I remember driving you around in the Fiero. <gasps> no way. You called it a Ferrari. I know what this is. I just laughed and said, shake it, baby. No way. How how did you... Do you know who that voice is, 2D? Of course, it's Randy. That's right. It's 2D's mom's boyfriend circa 1984 to 1989. Randy! He was the man. He he is the man. It's Randy! Not only that, he's kept the Fiero oh. all these years. There he is with the car. This is so awesome. Randy! There it is. You're the man. You're the man. This is a beautiful sight here, people. Looking at that car now, I see how a little kid might mistake that for a Ferrari. Oh, it's a beautiful work of art. Look at that thing. It's so good. Shake and bake, Randy. Shake and bake. What a beautiful reunion. Shake and bake. That was our thing. Okay, 2D, we have one more guest. Oh, man. From your past. I don't know if I'm ready for this. We really went out of our way to find this guest, especially for you. Okay, let me calm down here. I think I'm ready. Okay, 2D, tell us if you recognize this voice. No way. You hear that purr? How did you? I thought she was gone forever. Do you want to guess who that is? Yes, I know who that is. It's Sally. That's right. It's 2D's long lost 1988 Ford Mustang GT. Oh, oh. Sally. Sally's alive. Our team put a lot of work into finding her and getting her restored. She looks so good. I thought she went to the junkyard after the crash we had. Well, it turns out someone saved her from the salvage yard and had it sitting around all these years as a project car. A project car is pretty much every Mustang, but she's beautiful. And she is now yours. I get to keep her? Yes, you do. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I gotta go check her out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful sight. 
a man reunited with his love of Mustangs. Not all Mustangs, just Sally. He still has some issues to work through. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, it'll be the second half of the Mustang Tournament Finals. And welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League Mustang Tournament. So, oh man, that was a surprise, a pleasant surprise. Me and Randy are gonna take the Ferrari for a spin after the race. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Here we go, the drivers are off for race five. Kenny Smallblock in the lead, followed by Doug winning. Also, just to be clear, me and Sally's relationship has nothing to do with how I feel generally about Ford Mustangs. Kenny Smallblock and Doug winning, fighting for first round turn two. Kenny now pulling way around the final turn. All four drivers still in it. And race five will go to Kenny Smallblock, followed by Doug winning. And I'm not sure who got third or fourth. That was a close finish. Also, that is five races in a row. No wrecks, no DNFs. Don't worry, it's coming. Looks like third place will go to Brett Maverick. Daryl Shelby takes fourth. You know, you could drive Sally in King of the Mountain when you lose this bet. And risk pulling a McClyde and losing Sally again. Race, race in peace, McClyde. No way. You've got a good point there. Here we go with race six of eight. I will say six races in a row with no crashes. This must be a Mustang record. History being made here on the 3D Bot Maker channel. Brett Maverick getting into the side of Kenny Smallblock. They're still in it. Doug winning, pulling away. Doug winning a strong competitor here. Oh, and <laughs> down goes Brett Maverick. Oh, yeah. They oh. just couldn't help it, 3D. They just couldn't help it. And we were so close to the end. Look, you could take a Mustang out of a crash, but you cannot take the crash out of a Mustang. Brett Maverick flipped over on race six, causing a triple DNF. Let's see the total number of crashes and DNFs for this tournament. 29 DNFs. 15 wrecks, zero spectators. I think that's questionable. None of the fans got hit. None that we know of. There should be a question mark there. Plus, we had spectator cars get hit in the last race. That win puts Doug winning in the lead with 21 points. Kenny Smallblock right behind him with 19 points. The race is going to come down to those two. Daryl Shelby and Brett Maverick, not enough points on the board. I expected to see Brett Maverick do a lot better. Brett and Daryl Shelby in the front row this time. Brett Maverick with the lead. Doug winning back in third. Kenny Smallblock now takes third. Oh, a huge crash for Daryl Shelby. He's upside down. Doug winning gets stuck behind him. And Brett Maverick takes the win, followed by Kenny Smallblock. Another little known fact. Once a Mustang crashes on the track, it's contagious for the other Mustangs. Sort of like when someone yawns? Yeah, exactly. Doug winning coming off the track after Daryl Shelby wrecked. That moves Kenny Smallblock back into the first place position in points. Hold on, look at that. 31 DNFs. 16 wrecks. That's a lot of DNFs and wrecks. It's actually pretty average for Mustangs. We've got one race left. Only one point separates Kenny Smallblock and Doug winning. Kenny Smallblock starting on the front left in the red car. Doug winning behind him in the yellow car. This is it, the final race. And they're off. Winner will be the Mustang Tournament champion and earn their spot in the end of year finals. So far, it's a close race. Daryl Shelby currently in the lead. Kenny Smallblock pulls up next to him, passes on the inside of turn two. Look at Doug. Doug winning, trying to catch up. It's a fight. Kenny Smallblock breaks free. And Kenny Smallblock will be your 2022 Mustang Tournament Champion. That was an intense race right down to the finish. I thought Doug winning was going to pass on the outside. But Kenny Smallblock got a boost, and he's going home a champion. Here's another look. Keep an eye on the yellow card. Doug winning pulls from third into second place. Right here, it's open for him to pass but he just did not have the speed to overtake Kenny Smallblock. Doug fell back to third, and Kenny took the win and the tournament championship. Here's a look at the top five track times for this tournament. Brett Maverick setting the fastest time so far for the season, 17.354 seconds. We had two crashes, so you know what that means. Pontiac tournament. Yes, a Pontiac tournament with some Fieros. Well, before we get to that, we got the return of the DRC coming to the channel. Eight new cars will be competing in a tournament-style event. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good, too. We thank you for joining us for this tournament. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on, on the track. track.